called your obligatory social cues don't mean shit, Greg. <laughs> Imagine waking up every day and finding that someone has put a brick under you while you were sleeping. Now imagine this happening every day after starting one day for no good fucking reason. Imagine your life and future being dependent on the functionality of your body and then having a body that doesn't work at all. Or don't imagine any of this because you will never know what it is like to be sick like me, to wake up more pain than person like me, and to constantly be asked, how are you doing? And never having an answer anyone wants to hear. It's ridiculous too because you don't really care, you're just asking because society told you it's polite to do so. But once I saw two men both ask each other how the other was doing and neither responded and neither noticed because neither cared. But I'm not a liar, sweetheart. I spent too many nights on my knees praying for forgiveness that my kneecaps are now skipping stones that get thrown into the holy river every Sunday. So when you ask me how I am doing, I cannot lie, baby, I will tell you that I haven't slept well in seven years and I can't forget it because without the meds I can't get away, but with the meds I'm barely conscious so I have to choose presence or pain. But either way, during every second of every day, so no, I don't remember what I had for breakfast two days ago because that's too long and remembering is too hard because every day bleeds into the next since nothing changes. Even when I go to three hospitals in one day, nothing will change and I'm left screaming in the car alone. How is this possible? Can no fucking white guy with a PhD just fix me already? But apparently they can't. So I break my mother's heart time and time again and I lose all my friends because no one wants to love a cripple who doesn't look like a cripple. Because belief is apparently too much to ask for. Love is too much to ask for when you never have good days, when you can never truly say, I'm doing very well, when you can't ask if I'm okay. I can't even play the cello, my only saving grace Put away your social acquiescence and get it out of my face because I count my days in pills and I rate my pain for men named Bill, Ryan, and Greg and even though it won't make a difference if I say four or nine because I'm still not a 10. But it's pain, pain, pain over and over again. You ask me why I'm not okay. It's because of pain, you cunt. Please stop reminding me. That chronic pain is devouring, chronic pain is ruining. Chronic pain is killing me. Mom, I'm sorry, I'm not strong enough. I once sat in a class full of honor students that were trying to talk about chronic pain. She said, I bet someone with chronic pain wouldn't actually do anything to get rid of it, given the ultimatum pain or a limb. They'd be reasonable and logical and realize that losing a limb isn't worth it. I said, fuck you. How do you not know that is so fucking rude? I live with this shit. You pretend to understand what it's like to be willing to trade anything, anything to be free. And you try to tell me that logic would win over being human again. She said, would you trade your life? And with abysmal abandon, I said yes before she could even finish her sentence because yes, I would rather die than to live another month like this, darling. Please, don't even entertain the idea that you could take away the pain with your lips or your hips. Darling, no amount of love can fix me. But if you could just love me anyways, if you would love the pain, if you can love that I go crazy when I haven't seen the sun in days, if you could just love me anyways, I can figure out the rain and eventually the pain. Thank you.